All right, so we got 500,000 hours is how many years? So we got to go from hours to years. And let's get some facts going here. So um, you think about units of time. So we got hours, days, weeks, that type of thing, right? So if we want to go from hours to years, um, we probably want to do something like, okay, 24 hours equals how many days, right? So that'd be one day, right? And we could probably just go from days to years then. So number of days in a year. would be that, right? So we can convert hours to days and then convert days to years. That make sense? Yeah. And like, you don't have to do, like to do this, you don't have to do our unit analysis trick. I just like to go over it because it's useful for chemistry and other subjects. And some problems, it, it really helps. So, I mean, some students are just gonna say, you know what, I'll just divide by 24 and I'll get days, then I'll divide by 365 and I get years. So that's perfectly fine. You don't have to actually write this all out. But I, I would like you all to do it anyway, just to get the practice. So the kind of unit analysis method is we put our thing that we're converting, and we put it over one. So that's the first step. Over one, right? And then we say, well, what am I going to convert it to first? So you got to convert it by multiplying by a unit fraction. And what do you want to convert it to first? Like, do you want to convert it to days or do you want to convert that to years? How, where should we start? Well, yeah, we want to get to years eventually, but we're going to convert it, maybe convert it to days first of all, right? And then convert the days to years. Does that make sense? Because it's 24 hours in a day. Right? So we want to convert the hours into days. So we multiply it by hours over day or day over hours. Well, we want the hours to go away, so put your hours down here. You see what I mean? So this is kind of the setup, but if you remember this... Oh, my phone is here. One sec. All right, so we've got... Um, there we go. Turn that phone off. Um, so we've got 20 four hours in one day, right? But but really the unit analysis trick is just to set this up. I mean, is this the part that a lot of folks get stuck on? It's just to set it up like this, you know? Take your thing you're converting, put it over one, multiply it by unit fraction with the arrow on the bottom. If you get that part, then the rest just falls into place. Because then you're like, okay, 24 hours equals one day, right? So then you're just gonna go, okay, 24 hours here and one day up here, make sense? Right? Um, and and now the hours are going to cross cancel like that. And by the way, I'm just going to take my calculator out and I'm just going to do this uh, 500,000 divided by 24, and that gives me 20,833. So just by doing this part, we find that 500,000 hours is the same thing as 20,833 days. Does that make sense? So like we've converted it to days already just by doing that, right? Or really just by dividing by 24. Dividing by 24. So are you clear on that that much? So, so all we've done is this. Look, look, if you were asked, okay, if you were asked, let, let's give you, we'll do this one. 48 hours is how many, how, sorry, how many days? 48 hours is how many days? Let's just do that. Go ahead and convert that and use unit, unit analysis, right? Right, it's two days. Lovely. So, and and can we do? Can we? Did you? Were you able to write it down? Forty-eight hours over one, right? Times twenty-four, and then one day. 
right? 24 hours equals one day. The hours cross cancel. Great stuff. 48 over 24 gives two. So we have two. And then what's left is day. See that? Two day or two days. Same thing. Make sense? Okay, so that makes sense. We just divide by 24. But this one we had 500,000 hours. So one trick with unit analysis might be, if you're confused, just make up an easy number. And convert that and then see if it makes sense. Because we, in this case, we took 500,000 and we divided that by 24 and we got 20,833 days. Right? right. Alright. So we've got to move it to years though. So... So multiply that by something that gets us to years, because we can go from days to years. So what what, what fraction should we put here? Right. Then we want our days on the bottom, right? Because the days needs to cross cancel, right? They need to cross cancel, right? So and we have this guy. We have three sixty five days equals one year, right? So basically, it's it's five hundred thousand over twenty four, you know, times, and also over three sixty five, right? So the whole thing becomes, you know, five hundred thousand after everything cross cancels over, and we got twenty four times three sixty five, and the only unit left now is y r for year, years, right? And so uh, I may, maybe I'll just put a parenthesis to show that that's so these guys are being multiplied on the bottom, right? So it's five hundred thousand. Okay. So so we can put that in a calculator. You know, five hundred thousand over. And if you're doing both, you got to put a parenthesis. If you're doing a calculator entry, it needs to look like this: five hundred thousand. Ah, five. Sorry, five hundred five hundred thousand. Uh, you know, divided by parenthesis. 24 times 365. You want, your calculator understands PEMDAS. It, you want to tell your calculator, please multiply the bottom and figure out what the bottom is as one number and then divide, right? If you don't do that, the calculator will just divide by 20. If you have no parentheses there, the calculator is going to divide by 24 and then multiply by 365, which will throw, throw off your answer. So you must go 24 times 365 like that in parentheses. And anyway, that long story short, that gives us approximately uh, 571 years, right? It's 570.77, but approximately 571 years, right? Rounded to the nearest year because it was 570.77 years. So we rounded up to 571, right? Ah, well, that, that'll make it hard. Yeah. Um, so, so if anyone doesn't have a calculator, Desmos uh, is good. So, um, desmos.com, you can get a free online cal. You can use a free online calculator. Desmos.com for a free online calculator. And that'll, that can be used in all classes, not just this one, but statistics or math 107, whatever. So no need to buy a calculator, just use desmos.com, that'll be good.